issue. But um, finally, my honourable friend, the member for Beckenham, what, what I would say, I mean, it's uh, unfortunately uh, him and I have been friends for far too long. And, uh, you know, um, he thinks that, uh, you know, he, he has finally woken up. Um, look, um, he thinks that, I, I know it's easy to come home, and as conflict has changed and cameras and so on come out, people can think that my generation did X, Y, and Z in Afghanistan or wherever it may be. Um, but I would just say to him that all we ever did was try and stand on the shoulders uh, of our predecessors who fought in incredibly difficult uh, environments, incredibly difficult and complex uh, situations. And uh, it's something about the story about uh, the little girl. There's something about little girls and conflicts. I was out with a friend last weekend and we talked about what does remembrance mean. I, you know, we were talking, does anything stick with you from these days? And he remembers a, a little girl who similarly lost uh, both arms and both legs and, and, and was dying. And their father wouldn't give, him, wouldn't give the little girl to us because he wanted her to be a martyr and wouldn't let us save her life. Um, there's something about little girls in conflict that gets very difficult. But look, what is remembrance to me? Look, I'll be honest, some parts of remembrance I, I do find pretty difficult. Um, you know, Remembrance Day events. When I, when I first came back from some of those roughest tours uh, in Afghanistan, I, I simply couldn't watch because the discrepancy between what people said in this place okay, and how it actually felt to serve uh, or to be a veteran or family in this country was too great. It was too great. However, we are getting better. The creation of the Office of Veterans Affairs is a significant moment. Um, but what I would say to, very gently to colleagues, both inside and outside government, is do not underestimate what this means to people who are watching this debate. Do not underestimate the commitments we have made, not only to the generation I was talking about from Northern Ireland, but to all those who have served. There is a community out there who are the best of us, who care so much about this country, they actually signed up to serve. And some of their experiences have been wholly unacceptable. We are changing that, but we must redouble our efforts. Because if we get it wrong now, having given them hope, that feeling that I used to have will only become worse. Because ultimately, all these things are political. All these things are political. Enshrining the Armed Forces Covenant into law is a political choice. Reconciliation in Northern Ireland is a political choice. So you can remember properly. You can remember properly. Not through Remembrance Day itself and photographs and all the rest of it. But you can remember properly by supporting those efforts. By parking selfish ambition or any personal agenda to one special interest and actually taking the difficult decisions for the greater good. For that greater good was what those patriots fought for and died to protect. And that is how you remember and truly honour their sacrifice. For its actions, actions, not words. We will remember them.